viewers welcome to soft skills valley we have started our new series of charts and graphs in these videos you will learn how to represent your data effectively and how to run analysis on your data by using the different tools different options and you will also learn how to use your chart to represent your data so let's assume that we have sales data of different years of north zone we will first select this data let's represent it effectively let's learn the different tools so you will just press the shortcut key which is control plus q or you can also press only control so this window is appearing on the screen which is showing different tabs which is formatting chart totals tables parkline let's start with formatting formatting have different options which is number 1 is data bar data bar is represent representing the highest or you can say the greater sales amount with full bar on in each cell so we can easily understand that 2019 has the greater sales amount and the bar is full in this cell and the least amount and the least sale amount is 2017 as of 2017 which that bar is not fully highlighted next thing is color color is highlighting the greater value with the darker with the dark color and the middle one with the light color and the least one with no color so if we have a huge amount of data so we can easily find out the greater values with the help of these colors next thing is icon set icon set is highlighting the greater sales amount with the green icon the average one with yellow and the lesser one with red icon next option is greater greater option is only highlighting the greater values in the whole data so you can see that this option is highlighting the value of 2019 and 2018 which is the greater values the greater sales amount among all these values the next one is top 10% top 10% will highlight the values in the whole data which is the top greater values of the whole data and it will just highlight the top 10% of these values among these values so we can clear these rules by selecting this option let's come to charts charts are repre represent you representing your data it helps to visualize your data so there are many kinds of charts the number one is line the line chart is representing the data the increasing and decreasing trend with the help of a line so you can easily see that from 2017 to 2018 the trend is increasing and from 2018 to 2019 it is on the greater level it is on the peak and then it is decreasing from 2019 to 2020 the next option is clustered clustered chart is used to represent the data with the help of bars so the these bars are showing that sales amount the sales were on the greater level in the uh, in 2018 and in 2019 and it was lesser in 2017 The next option is pie. Pie chart is showing the uh, values. It's representing the data with the help of a circle, a pie chart, and with different sections and different colors. The last one is stacked. Stacked is showing with the shaded colors of the greater values and the lesser values. Let's come to totals. Total shows 
different options here as you can see sum average count person total running amount sum is showing the total um, the total of all the values mentioned in a column average help us to find out the average of all the values count help us to find out the quick count of all the values person total shows the contribution of each value in the total sales amount as you can see the total of all these percentage total is for like 4.70 38.09% 39.63 17.58th they all become the 100% so it's showing the contribution of each year in the total sales data next is running amount running amount shows us the accumulation of the different years into one year like uh, in, let's suppose 2018 the value of 2017 and 2018 accumulated and become 10.2 million so it is showing the step by step accumulation of values the next thing is tables table is simply converting the whole data into a table form with the filter options so it will be very convenient for you to filter the most desirable values and most desirable data or you can say if you want to search the sales of north zone so you can easily find it out by using the filter option the next thing is blank blank is basically used to convert the data into a pivot table which we learn further in our next videos the last one is spark line spark line are you can see they are they are all excel is also showing the definition of a spark line spark lines are mini charts placed in single cells if you want to see the uh, if you want to represent your values by by each cell so you can use the spark line option suppose we have chosen the line option so it is representing the line chart in a single cell the column chart and the win and loss if if it's needed so hope you have understood how to represent your data with the help of these options these shortcuts they are very convenient and they are very useful for your daily working and it will help you to represent your data beautifully effectively and it it will make your presentation very perfect thank you for watching our video please like and share this video and please subscribe our channel